You mentioned the uh, six and a half point spread, which, uh, as I mentioned to you before we started to record, surprised me a bit. I thought Tennessee would be a bit of, more of a favorite, but they are playing in one of the uh, great home field advantages in college football. Uh, it's been a long time since 38-6 over South Carolina late last season. There were a few yeah. L's after that, and then obviously starting off against Utah. So uh, I got to think that this fan base is starved for a win against a quality opponent it's been a long time to to be able to celebrate on a saturday night is great but also to just kind of to to feel like okay we've got a little proof of concept here that this is headed in the right direction yeah i, I, I saw a funny tweet earlier today that said yeah florida finally paid scott strickland finally paid somebody 500k so they could get a win uh last week against mcneese state to break the losing streak but uh yeah, man. I, I mean, th this is a game that you know. You, last year, you didn't win any games against any of your rivals, and, and Florida fans right now are starved for a win against the rivals. I mean, the Utah game put a bad taste in a lot of Florida Gator fans' throats. That so they want to win this game. So, you know, it, I, I look at all the tweets, and 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 even me, just as a Florida Gator fan, it's like we, in a way, you kind of need this win. There's a little bit of pressure on Billy Napier right now, and the, and, and if he loses this game, especially at home. In a sold out stadium with with fans just you know yelling everywhere. I mean, the noise is gonna get louder if he does lose this game. But you know, you you do have other opponents on your schedule that I guess if you were to get a win later on, you could kind of redeem it and finally get a rivalry win on somebody. But right now, you you really need this win right now against Tennessee. And this is the perfect I can't say it's the perfect storm because both teams are evenly matched up on paper, but if you had a chance to Beat a team that you're evenly matched out on paper and, and, and able to have a complete game. See, see the special teams able to execute all the way through through four quarters. Uh, your offense and your defense be on, be on target and not commit so many penalties. I think that is what you're really looking for in this game and what Florida fans. And I, th I think that's going to be the key to victory right there. And I, you know, Billy Napier just he 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 got to do something to get these fans off of him on Twitter because they always say. Oh, uh, we don't read the the internet or the tea leaves on the internet. Trust me, that they see it. <laughs> like that staff sees it. So I think Billy Napier needs this win and he wants this win. And, and we'll see what happens, man, uh, here in the swamp. Dave Soderquist doing some work for us here at the Voice of College Football. We appreciate appreciate Dave and everybody there at uh, High Top Sports uh talking Florida football. So get on over there, take the deep dive on Florida and everything else that they've got going on there at High Top Sports. Dave, uh, appreciate you stopping by, breaking things down for us. Should be a good one on a Saturday night. Yeah, I'll be in the swamp, man. Uh, check out Florida Victorious. If you're a fan out there, they have a Florida Victorious event going on at 4 p.m. there in the swamp restaurant. And, uh, of course, I'll be there uh, along with everybody else there uh, to, uh, you know, Saturday night. <laughs> Hopefully we get a victory. We can celebrate after the tailgates instead of celebrating beforehand at the tailgate. Because, hey, you know what? We, we go to that Harmonic Woods tailgate and we always say, hey, we, we might if we lose the game, we never lose a tailgate. 